Want to see the first Samsung-built Windows Phone 8 device for America? Yeah, you do. Okay, so this is the Ative Odyssey for Verizon Wireless. We reviewed its high-end sibling, the Ative S, last month, but Samsung hasn't been able to get that one onto retail shelves in America yet, so the mid-range Ative Odyssey here is actually the first Samsung Windows Phone 8 device to see a stateside release. Let's have a look in the back of the box here. It gives us a little spoiler as to what might be inside. That's very nice. Let's pop open the box. It is very cold in the northeastern United States right now. There's the Ative Odyssey, and it was so cold when I took it out of the FedEx truck that it was actually in a uh, in a reboot loop. So um, we've let it warm up a little bit. Also, the screen protector came off there, so uh, I, I placed it gingerly back on so we can have our little moment of pleasure. Pop open the box itself. Here's the battery, which is still, still cool to the touch. Here is a USB cable. Here is that uh, Samsung, uniquely shaped Samsung wall charger. A start here guide, and I believe that's gonna be the end of the box material. So. Let's go ahead and pull the screen protector right off of here. Beautiful sound, beautiful feel. There's that display. That is a 4-inch Super AMOLED display at 480 by 800, uh, resulting in a pixel density of 233 ppi. You can see the Windows Phone buttons down below. Let's explore the sides a little bit. Power standby button is all the way up here under the thumb. This is the multi-stage camera key, which feels a lot like it does on the Ative S. Coming around to the other side, volume down, volume up, the hatch for the micro SD card, more on that in a second. And we'll hop on back to the back here. This is a five megapixel primary shooter capable of 1080p video recording. The battery is under a removable door, obviously, since it's over there. Door does not feel as flimsy as on any other Samsung device. They really beefed it up here, obviously not afraid about thickening up this already somewhat chunky phone. We'll go ahead and pop the battery in. There's our Verizon SIM card right there. Underneath is the predictable Qualcomm Snapdragon S4, clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, backed up by a single gig of RAM. Eight gigs of onboard storage, but that is expandable via the micro SD card we saw before. Go ahead and peel this back protector off so we can take a look at the texture on the back. Very, very familiar, much more akin to the, uh, oh, that's sticky, much more akin to the Galaxy S3 or Galaxy Note 2 on the back here. This is not the Ative S's polished metal, more like the uh, the hairline finish on the S3 and the Note 2. Coming back around to the front, we've already got some fingerprints going on, but let's go ahead and give it a first power on here. One, two. Got some reassuring vibration there. There's our Windows Phone splash screen. Up above, of course, we have the front-facing camera and proximity sensors here. And once again, looks like the same earpiece as used on the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2. Here's our Samsung mobile splash screen with Samsung's website address down below. Device feels pretty good in the hand, actually. It, uh, we've handled this before. We handled this at CES because Samsung was nice enough to show us a pre-production model there. Uh, it conforms very nicely to the palm because it's not afraid, once again, to be a thick device. There we go. We didn't get this far before. There's Verizon splash screen. And welcome to your Ative Odyssey. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for our unboxing and quick hardware tour of the Samsung Ative Odyssey. Stay tuned for a lot more, including comparison videos. We're going to do a comparison with the Ative S and, of course, our full review coming very shortly. Follow us at all the usual spots down in the description below. Thank you for watching. Throw us a like if you like the video. We'll see you later.